What up, guys? Jason, Flow Packs. Just want to make a quick video. Um, you'll see inside here, you got the Flow Packs, Pace Setter Spools up in there. And uh, here they are. 70 bucks for the infraction, limitless. And the new 1-7 uh, scale that uh, Raw Steel's coming out with, or came out with, which I'm going to hopefully order one this week. Um, I had a homie today tell me that he got one yesterday or the day before. It fits in there like clockwork. It's awesome. So uh, they should be working for all those. And from what Ross Steele was saying, Nick was saying that he's going to make those seven scale packages for almost all cars. MGT7, the GTB, VTE, all that stuff. So that'll be tight. That means my spools will fit in all of them. Um, almost a year ago, I ordered up a bunch of these. And a couple guys knew about it. And they probably thought I was bullshitting because it's taken almost a year to get them. But you want things cheaper, that's what you do. You wait, um, pay up front, and you pay full price just like anybody else. So uh, the new motors are here. They're 10 scale. New motors. I heard a lot of people when I unveiled them the other night that they're going to put them in 8 scale cars. And that's on you. Once you own the motor, it's your motor. You know what I mean? They are 6 and 8S rated. Um, so I decided to throw it in the limitless with pretty good gearing, man. Pretty good size gearing on a Mamba Monster 2. We're going to check the temps before we go. I did just drop this thing a minute ago. So hopefully it don't mess up. Let's see. Yeah, one of the numbers is kind of messed up. So it looks like 74. No, why is it locked? Hold on. 74.4 all right 5s brick guys these are the bricks that i was going to have made for me and uh just so everybody knows almost eight months ago also i was going to make some lipos and i was going to have china hobby make them for me um things fell apart there and i didn't get them made but i was one of the first ones in contact with them guys trying to get lipos made and now I see everybody's running them, so it was a bad business decision on my part. I should have had them done. Um, I had these are all the prototypes. These were the four, five, six S packs that I had made, and three S. Sorry, and three S packs. And I should have went ahead with it, but um, I guess I got cold feet over the large amount of money that I was going to have to dish out. Which my bad. Now I should have done it, but I didn't. Um, guys, uh, I know a lot of guys out there running bigger. ESCs now, so I got the 10S drag packs. If you need one, let me know. Um, so right here, I decided to put that new motor in here with big gearing on a 5S brick. Um, my 6S wasn't charged, so I, I'll put that in in the next video. And also, I'll put it on the ground, guys, so you can see it rolling. Um, see how bad it cogs and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and just hook it up and see what happens with this bad boy. I've never ran this motor before. I literally just soldered it up. So we'll see how she does. Um, I didn't even run it in the motor analyzer, which I should have to get the bearings warm and get it warm. This is a, uh, I have another motor like this inside my Fortech. This weekend I ran 3S, 105 miles per hour. Nothing great, but the motor was super cool. I could not believe that motor stayed that cool in that thing. Um, so, again, the temp was 7-1-1, I don't know what that is. 711, 711, 71.6. All right, guys. So, flow pack spool right there, hooked in there. Keep your eye on that. And we'll see how much wobbles in there. I'm going to go ahead and Give it a little bit of throttle. See how much cogging there is. Look at how much I'm on the steering or on the throttle. Hardly any at all. It's not a censored motor, by the way, guys. No wobbling at all. No wobbling. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run this for a minute. Now this is having to push this heavier car. It's not on the ground, but it's still a heavier drivetrain than like a Fortec. It's got big ass gearing. It should be cogging on the bench. 
but it also has a five pack hooked up to it. In a minute, we'll take it outside and try it out and make another video. There it is, guys. A couple full power, full throttle hits. I don't know what that number is. 74.6, so it went up three degrees. Three degrees, not warm even a little bit. It's super, super cold. Um, so there it is, guys. 10 scale motors, brand new. They don't have a flat spot on the rotor yet, but if you need one, let me know. I'll put it in there. I put the one on here. Um, like I said, that's moderate gearing. I'll go outside in a minute and test it out. All right, guys. Took it outside real quick in my backyard. Just going to see what happens, see if it cogs real bad or if it even pushes it. You got to remember, that's a tiny little motor for this big old car on 5S. Let's see. That's a hell of a, oh crap. That's what happened here. That wire's caught up in there. Damn, I hope it didn't shoot up. All right, so, turn it around. Let's see. It pushes it. Not super fast, but it pushes it, guys. Um, you gotta remember, this is a heavy car for a 10 scale motor. Now, temps did go up a tiny bit. We'll see. Hold on. All right, guys. I literally just carried it in straight from outside. It looks like 84.8. Went up 10 degrees. 84.9. 81.6. So it went up 10 degrees. But... Like I said, look at that. Hardly cutting on it. Anyways, 160 bucks to your door. I'm out.